Hi, I'm Jessica Taylor from Ink It Up with Jessica, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a cute little Valentine note card. This note card has a finished size of three and a half inches by five inches, and it can be mailed or handed to your loved one in person. For your base card, you can start with a pre-made basic white note card from Stampin' Up. Comes with a coordinating envelope that fits it perfectly. And then you can add a piece of petal pink cardstock to the front that is three and a half inches by five inches. Or you can make your own note card base out of pink cardstock like I did here. And you would start with a piece of cardstock that is five inches by seven inches. And then you're gonna score it at three and a half inches along the longer seven inch side. So on my paper trimmer, this lighter gray blade is the scoring blade. I'm just gonna pull that across and then we can fold it on that score line, line up our opposite corners and give it a good crease with our bone folder to make a nice petal pink card base. The next thing we're gonna do is add a piece of three inch by five inch B paper to the front I'm going to use a Stampin' Seal as my adhesive of choice, but you use whatever adhesive you like to use. This adorable bee paper is from Stampin' Up's Be Mine Designer Series Paper Pack, and it's got the cutest patterns in it. Let me just line that up on here. So I'm gonna center it on my card front. And this B paper is 12 by 12 pattern paper, so you could actually make eight of these little note cards from just one sheet of it. Next, we're gonna stamp the greeting, and I'm gonna use the Happy Valentine's Day stamp from the Be My Valentine stamp set. And I'll stamp it in Sweet Sorbet ink. This is one of the ink colors that is in this cute B paper. So I'll just ink up my stamp, stamp it on some basic white cardstock, and then we're gonna cut it out with a circle die from the Stylish Shapes dies. What I want to give you a little tip on this is after you've stamped your greeting, sometimes you're not quite sure which circle is gonna fit the best. So try a few different ones. This is the one that I ended up using, but when I first looked at it, it almost looks like it's too small. Now, because it does this stitching and then cuts outside of that, it's gonna be okay. But I did take the next bigger size to see how that would work. Now on a full size card, I think this would be perfect, but on a note card, it was just gonna cover up a little bit too much of my cute B paper. So I'm gonna go with this smaller circle, and then I'm also going to use this longer die to cut this little banner out of Sweet Sorbet cardstock. I'm gonna grab my cut and emboss machine to do the die cutting. And because we are cutting dies, we're gonna use the number one platform, followed by the number two, and then a number three. I'll put my Happy Valentine's Day greeting there and center my circle around it. If you want to make sure that your die is gonna stay in place, you could put a post-it note across it or some post-it tape to hold that in place. And then I have this piece of sweet sorbet cardstock, just a scrap that I'm gonna die cut this banner out of. So then we'll put another number three on top to hold those in place, and then we'll run it on through. So now I have my Happy Valentine's Day greeting and a nice banner. I'm gonna use some stamp and seal on the back of my banner piece and then I'll tape that right to the card. Now, one thing when you're working with a bigger pattern like this, I wanna make sure that I am, I'm gonna look for the best spot to put my Happy Valentine's Day. So I want it to be centered left to right, but it doesn't really matter where I put it up and down. I'm gonna cover this bee right here because I think it helps these bees to highlight the Happy Valentine's Day greeting. And then I'm gonna put two dimensionals on the back of my Happy Valentine's Day circle, just to give that a little pop. And I'll center that over the banner die cut. Now, because I'm using a pink card base and not a white one, I decided to take a white insert that is three and a quarter inches by four and three quarter inches. Will fit perfectly right inside of here. 
I'm gonna use Sweet Sorbet ink again and another greeting from that Be My Valentine stamp set that says, you make my heart buzz. Stamp that right in the middle. And then once again, I'll just use a little stamp and seal to put this on the inside. Like so. So how sweet are these? I hope that you'll make a few Valentine note cards this year to spread a little handmade love.